Hey guys, it's Jenna here with my nephew Jake. And it turns out tonight was a perfect video for him to be over here because um, I'm going to be answering what you guys asked me for my Q&A video. Um, I have about seven questions on it so far. Um, I might do more of these later if you guys have more questions that I just didn't put in this video. So, first one, the first question is, what books are you looking forward to this year? Oh boy. <laughs> um, some of my most anticipated ones are A Court of Frost and Starlight, which comes out on my birthday, by Sarah really? J. Mass. Yes. Uh, Trials of Apollo Book 3, The Burning Maze, by Rick Riordan, which also comes out on my birthday. He still writes. Yes. I didn't know that. I'd cry if he didn't. <laughs> um, Legendary by Stephanie Garber. Uh, book two in the Carvel series. Um, I know I'm missing one. Escaping Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, I know there's another one and I can't think of it. But, um, yeah, those are just a few of them. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite books that I'm looking forward to this year. Favorite book plus info. Will you do me the honors of handing me my favorite book? Both of them? Yes, both of them. So, my favorite book... I can't believe that. ...is Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Um, this is book two in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. And we're going to hold up the hardcover. But, um, basically, I can't really go into depth about this, which sucks, but... Um, I'm just going to say, if you haven't read this book, you might want to skip to a little bit ahead. And if I'm not holding up this book, then you're safe. Um, because there's there's going to be some spoiler alerts because I want to actually be able to talk to you guys about this book. Um, but basically, this is about Feyre. Um, is that why you named that rabbit Feyre? Yeah. <laughs> and the, there's a... Look at it. There's a character named Cassian in here, too. That's where Feyre and Cassian got their names. <laughs> But, um, yes, so Feyre, after her, after surviving Amarantha, she, um, and Tamlin are supposed to be wed, but she starts being abused, um, in the spring court and treated like she's nothing. So she gets whisked away by the night court, um, stuff happens and I don't even know what to tell you guys about this book. Except for the fact that I just love it so much. And if you haven't read A Court of Thorns and Roses, you should go do that. Because, let me tell you, Sarah J. Mass really knows how to write. Um, and this is actually my favorite. I This is my favorite because it really bonds the characters together and just develops them really well. Like the bond between Reese and his best friends, Cassie and Asriel, more... Um, and then Feyre just, she finds out what, like, a true family is like. And I just, I love this book, guys. And, I mean, it shows that even though we thought Tamlin was a really good guy I in the first Harry book. Potter was going to be your favorite book. Harry Potter is a good one, too, but she's got some pretty good writing in here. Um, it shows, like, we thought Tamlin was the good guy in the first book, but this shows a whole different perspective on how Feyre really should have been treated, and just, I love this book. I love it. So, question three, there are five parts to this question, which, I love answering questions, so that does not matter. Top five most anticipated books of 2018. Okay, let me see, in order. Court of Frost and Starlight. Um, Legendary, Escaping Houdini, Escaping Houdini, um, Burning Maze, there's another one coming out and I cannot think of it. I have no idea what's coming out this year. <laughs> what's another one that's coming out? Everything just made my mind go blank, and now I can't think of what's being released this year. Whoops. Um, I was literally watching all these videos, but um, 
I would say Everless, but Everless just got released. So, um, Catwoman, Soul Stealer. Like the bad guy Catwoman? Yeah, Catwoman. Is there Batman in it? No, um, different. Like, as like a story of Catwoman? Yes. Like, different authors wrote about the DC mm -hmm. comics. Like, Lee Bardugo wrote about Wonder Woman. I was just going to say that. Uh, Marie Lou wrote about Batman. Then, I didn't know there was a Batman book. Yeah, it just came out. Well, I kind of do. Then, yeah, then Sarah J. Mass is going to be writing about Catwoman. Part two is, did is you see like the cover? series? Hmm? It's like a series? Not, kind of, but not really. Okay, part two of this question is, did you see the cover for Escaping Houdini, and what did you think? Yes, I saw it, and I totally love it. Um, I love all the blues in it, and I just, uh, I love the cover. I think it might be my favorite one. Yeah. What? I was not listening. Yeah, yeah. Escaping Houdini is my favorite of the three so far. Um, favorite author? Yeesh. Uh, I gotta say, probably Sarah J. Mass, um, and Rick Riordan. Because the only thing I've read from J.K. Rowling is Harry Potter. But I've read a lot of stuff from Rick Riordan, and I love yeah, Sarah yeah. J. Mass's writing. Part four. Any videos with your What's nephew your actual... coming? Oh. <laughs> Okay, Part four is any videos with your nephew coming up? He's right here. <laughs> um, I was actually kind of laughing when I saw that question because I was reading with him in the room and I'm like, Hey Jake, you want to be in another video? Because you're being requested. Um, we might do another one after this. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do it on What's though. What's her actual middle name? I do not know. I'd have to Google it. Um, and then... Part five is planning on going to college. If so, what do you plan on majoring in? Um, About nothing. This is more of a difficult question for me because um, I had always planned on going to college, but as it stands right now, I don't really have any plans to go to college because I can't afford it. Um, my English teacher is into her 15th year of teaching and she's in her late 40s and she's still paying off student debt um and i just there's so much i have to be doing back home that i like if i did go to college i knew that i'd have like a couple of years of gap years um and if i did go to college i'd probably go to major in like veterinary science or that's all i can really think of because i'm not very good at writing um you know, if there was a job of that you could like be a professional book reader or book collector, I'd be down for that. But um of course you would. Yeah, you know, I could I'd like to build Legos all day. I could totally go to college to major. I could get my librarian degree. Um yeah, you could just Yeah, that actually day. doesn't take long. I you know, yeah, I'm going to switch my major. I'll ma I'll go to be a librarian. Um, That's a good idea. You because vet school takes day, right? like 8 years. Yeah, and vet school suck. Yeah, because I don't want to dissect animals. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Heck, <laughs> I had to clean out Lulu's ear the other day because she got bit. And that was worse. That was bad What's enough. Lulu? My chocolate otter. Like a rabbit? Yeah, the, the sassy one that was sitting in the nest How'd box. How'd she get bit? Uh, when she was running on the ground with Mallow, um, or I mean Sapphire, she got... The sapphire bit her ear. They must have gotten in a fight or something. Um... Yeah, she had an ear wound, and I mean, it was really easy for me to clean out, but it was gross. Um, I've been raised into the rabbit business, so nothing really grosses me out. But there have been a few things that even I couldn't stomach, and I had to have my mom do. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I could be a vet. I don't really think I have the guts to do it, because while I really do love to help animals... I'd like animals, to be a zookeeper, but some of the things just meh. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to see them all in captivity. Not the wild animals, anyway. Makes well, me sad. It's the same with any farm animals. Not really. Because these guys are domesticated. They got taken from their home. The zoo animals. It's like, why do we have polar bears in Detroit? They're probably hot. <laughs> they do something to keep them cool. Not as cold as they want. But, um... 
It's so cool watching the polar bears in Detroit Zoo. Yeah, I really don't think I could stomach being a vet. So I would I would actually really like to uh Cause you could just read all day. Get my librarian degree because yeah, I'd be great at being a librarian. Like <laughs> Yeah, is I could just collect You work at the creamery. Uh, I do love working at the creamery though. But hey! it's only in summer. Yeah, true. I could open up a library shop. Uh, library shop. I could work you up could, a... Li- you could right now, couldn't you? I have to get my degree. What's that mean? Do you have to go to college for it? Mm-hmm. What? Why? Because you have to have no certain accounting abilities and stuff like that. I don't oh, know. Oh, never mind. I don't like want Like a to business degree. Yeah, I don't either. But, like, if I do, that's probably what I do. Yeah, probably me too. Because my health teacher... Like, being a doctor and stuff would suck. It takes 16 years of college or something. It depends on what you want to be. You know our cousin Jessica? She's going to be a nurse, and it took her eight years to go through her first round of college, and she's going back again for another degree. Who's Jessica? You know Christopher? No. On Grandma's side? No. Uh, Bob and Pat. Christopher and Jessica? No. Remington? No. The baby? Nope. You what do baby? Know. You do know them. I know you do. What baby? Jessica's baby. You know Remington, the one that your mom was talking about? Anyway. No. Anyways. I my... have so much family. I don't <laughs> know. Um, but my health teacher, he was telling us, he's like, you know, you don't have to go to college and waste your money on all that education if what you really want to do doesn't involve that much of a college education. I'm like, um... you know, he's right. Like, we could want to go into a job that really does not need a college education, then we'd have wasted all that money. He said that his brother is, what is it, a welder, um, and he took so many years of college only to realize he didn't even really need it, and he just he's still paying off student debt for really no reason at all. So, the my final answer to How that long question. How did you have to go to college, to To what? Be a librarian. Like three or four years. <laughs> to re- if that to put stamps on books, it might be like two or three years to run a library. You need more than that, or to run a library, you need to go to college. So if you just work there, you don't. No, I don't think so. Okay, that's all. There's I volunteer know. librarians, but um, yeah. So my final answer to that question is no. I'm not really planning on going to college, but if I change my mind in the future. I'd go for something along those lines or something. I don't know. <laughs> hey guys, I realized that I have a complete wardrobe change, but um, I just woke up and I was getting ready to uh, edit my video together and put it up. But I got some new questions, so caught me just in the nick of time, and I love answering questions. So, um, I have five more. Well, technically one question, but there's five parts to this one. So the first part is what made you decide to start a channel um actually one day i was just sitting like i didn't know what to look up on youtube and then i'm like i wonder if there's people that talk about books and i looked up booktube like i don't even know i don't remember what i put in but i looked up something along those lines and i found sasha's channel And I started watching Sasha, and she just inspired me so much that I decided to start a channel of my own. So it was shortly after I started watching Sasha that I really just wanted to start a channel of my own, and it gave me the confidence to do so. Um, Other than read, what do you like to do? Um, I like to watch Netflix. Um definitely hang out with my nephews and my niece um i do a lot with my rabbits and guinea pigs (laughs) and all my animals um hang out with my friends i mean i don't really have any interesting hobbies aside from 4-h um but yeah i do oh i paint too um not really outside of my advanced art class but like I have so many art classes that I get an art class every semester that the only time I really don't paint is in the summer um because I have so many other things to be doing so yeah do you have any weird habits (laughs) um 
couple actually um my mom and my brother always say and my best friend they always say that it's so weird because i eat almost everything with a spoon um i don't know why but like because i crush my ramen noodles up like completely and then i eat them with a spoon um yeah i try to eat everything with a spoon and they think it's so weird i don't know why but like i don't know I just do. I eat, like, everything with a spoon. I don't eat salad with a spoon, but, like, every, <laughs> everybody, like, I don't know. They're like, why do you eat that with a spoon? And then I also have a really bad habit of, like, chewing my lip when I read. So that's why I always have to have, like, a snack or gum or something. Because if I'm reading, like, a really intense book, um, it won't be very good for me at the end. Um then part four is do you have any special talents <laughs> does holding a grudge for a really long time count as a special talent because i can't really think of anything else um no i don't really think i have any special talents I mean, other than the fact that I have, that I care for, like, a hobby farm, I don't know. Not really any special talents. Then my last one is, did you enjoy your 24-hour readathon and will you do another one? Surprisingly, even though I was really cranky and sleep deprived, I really did enjoy my readathon and I will definitely be doing another one. Um, I like, it was, like, really, um, I felt really accomplished at the end because, I mean, even though I didn't read as much as I expected, I did finish two books, and I got those two books off my TBR, so that felt pretty good, and I do want to do another one, so, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, guys, if you like this Q&A, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and if, and comment down below if you like me to do another one. Thanks, guys.